Hey everybody, Giant G here. I'm shooting this video today as a follow-up video to the one I shot earlier in the week. Earlier in the week, I showed you guys how to do a back strengthening exercise, okay? Um, that strike up some conversation and some interest about core strength. Um, and I think what's even more important than core strength is getting the body to a point um, where it's kind of more neutral and is ready to be strength trained, where it's more in balance. Um, and this comes from stretching and how important stretching really is. Because um, we want to get the muscles, we want to return the muscles to the length where they can function their best, okay? So what this video is going to go into is hip flexion, okay? Um, through, I would say most people's lives today lead them to a large amount of time in hip flexion, okay? So what hip flexion is, this is hip flexion, okay? I have a few muscles in my body that are responsible for hip flexion, okay? We have them here, we have our deeper ones inside, okay? And they're responsible for this action, okay? They do that. Um, so what's wrong these days is because of just how society is, we are in a constant state of hip flexion. And here's some examples. If you have an office job, okay, and you're at a desk, whatever you have to do, you're in this state of hip flexion, okay? You're shortening length between these two mu the muscles here okay so you leave work for the day and what do you do you get in your car you're in your car you're right back to a state of hip flexion okay you get home uh, you might eat but then you want to run out okay so now we got to drive to well if if you happen to have to drive to the trails or whatever you're doing to ride back in the car to hip flexion as soon as we get on the bike our body is right back into a state of hip flexion except now it's more um, aggressive on the body and dynamics and our body's moving around more but all day long through all these actions we're keeping the body in a constant state of hip flexion okay I use this as an example even though it is a rubber band and real quickly I need to point out muscles do not work like this okay muscles can pull they cannot push they are also not elastic or stretchy muscles are fibers okay muscles when we stretch them Basically, we're allowing them to relax and do this, okay? They're not stretching, okay? So, the muscles in our body always have an, op an optimal length, okay? Where they want to be, okay? If we have an overuse, such as this, um, what we kind of do is we kind of shorten that muscle. So, this obviously isn't as strong as this is, okay? Or as powerful. So, that's why we want to return the body to a natural or an ideal state of the muscle at the correct length before we strengthen it. Now what's really bad, and I do see this, is people doing strengthening exercises that are just increasing this problem. Um, and it's an exercise I have nobody do in any of my training programs, okay? Um, just imagine I'm laying flat on my back, okay? When you do the crunch, we are overemphasizing this, this posture and strengthening the body in a way that we don't want it to be strengthened, okay? we're in that position way too much. So we start creating this imbalance in our bodies where these muscles now are shortened, okay? And then we have an issue back here, and this is why, you know, there's a lot of back issues, okay? So I think it's best to stretch properly, strengthen the correct muscle groups to return the body to neutral, and then we can strengthen it, okay? Everybody wants to jump into a program and get, to, and get way, they, people tend to get way too aggressive. They go from zero to 100, you know, and, and that just doesn't work on the body. It might feel good for a short period, but it's, it's not going to last. There's going to be no long sustained effects from that. Okay, so I'm not going to talk about the stretches. Um, you guys can look that up online. There are really good ones out there. That's why I do yoga, because yoga takes my body through a series of stretches that I know are important for it. Okay, um, even once you get the body balanced, you want to keep it balanced, so it's not like you're going to stretch to get it there. Stretching is important. I do stretching, I would say, six out of seven days a week, and I'm bad for not doing it seven of seven, okay? But um, I hope you guys learned something from this, and as usual, feel free to reach out to me on Facebook or my website, giantgcoaching.com, or email me, giantgmtb at hotmail.com. Have a great day.